What's up guys, welcome to your 91st Android tutorial for the new boss and, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is get rid of that error I showed you in the last tutorial or not necessarily an error but every time we use our browser and we click a link you know it's going to open up a new intent use the intent to open up some kind of a browser instead of using our web view like we'd like and what we need to do is we kind of need to override that intent that's happening and so what we're going to do is we do or how we're going to set that up is by um, setting up a web view client so what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna say our browser dot then we can say set web view client and as you can see it takes a web view client within its parameters now we don't have a web view client yet so we're gonna create one so we're gonna create a new class we can either do that over here or down here down below in the code which we're which I'm gonna do um, so whatever you guys feel com more comfortable with but we're going to create a new object, which again is a, um, which is a web view client. So we're going to say new, our view, client, something like that. It doesn't really matter um, what you guys want to label that as. And it's like, hey, we don't know what this is. We're going to say create a class our view client right here. And we're going to say whatever finish. Dang it! I hate how it does that. I'm just never mind. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah I might as well just do it in this new code over here so again basically all we're doing is we created a new class um, that is going to be a web view client so we're going to just create a new object of the web view class that we just created and then I just hovered over and said create a class which created this class for me And as you can see the most important thing is it extends the web view client class so that's that's going to allow us to again since you know our set web view client is looking for that um, we need to say extends web view client as well so now what we want this class to do is we're basically going to um, make a a, uh, a boolean a true false but uh, we're gonna override because it's coming from something else so we just have to override that method I know we haven't really got into what override means but it's kind of a Java thing don't worry too much about it we're just gonna say public boolean and then say should override URL loading and this is going to be a web service or I'm sorry a web view called V and we're gonna call this or the second parameter is gonna be a string called URL and this or we're gonna have to import a web view so you're like what's going on here basically this is just a method that we need um, to set up and it's gonna say which view we want to override and basically which URL um, or when we use the load URL method on our web view from the previous class it's gonna go through this whole thing right here um, so we're gonna need the web view which web view we're dealing with and which URL it's trying to load so that's basically what that methods doing right there and then what we're gonna say is we're gonna say view or V for a web view that's being passed in right here and then we're just gonna say load URL the same method and then we're gonna say URL as well so basically that's the method that we're kind of um, setting up and it's still giving us an error because it's boolean it's looking for a true false statement and so we're just gonna say return uh, true so I'm I don't know if that that's kinda confusing let's run it make sure it works and I'm gonna kinda talk over everything that we did again and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense um, whereas that's loading I'll just talk over that again okay again Android will use an intent uh, that uses its own browser to open up links of some sort so we want to override that so how we're going to do that is using the set web view client and then we don't have a web view client yet so we're going to say create our own um, a new instance of this class that we just created so we had to create that class so it created us for it created it for us and it extended the web view client which is what we're looking for and then we created this method called should override URL loading which takes in a web view and a URL so we take that web view and we use the load URL method and then 
um, you know basically we're just setting that to true so it's going to load on our you are on our web view if that makes sense hopefully it does but uh, it might not and sorry if it doesn't so let's try and click like blog here and hopefully it'll load now within here as you can see um, the blog section is loading in here um, the next and then uh, just to make sure tutorial section right here as well so yeah it looks like it's working uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda scale down uh, this browser to fit in this window so as you can see right now it's zoomed in uh, we don't really want to start zoomed in like this so we're gonna scale it down I'm gonna show you some other settings that we can use with the web view class and I'll catch you guys then have a good one